Chapter 3 The Dream 2171 Present Day I feel frozen. These pages have shocked me so much that my knees are trembling. I sit on the ground and wonder, humans? Nuclear war? Surviving gorillas? Is this the reality? Who are we? Are we monsters? We have no evidence about where we come from and our origins, just some legends. Harry and Reese, who are with me in the room seeing me this way, ask me what happened. Nothing, I say. I don't feel well. I'm going to rest. I don't want to talk about this story with anyone just yet. I need to look into it. I am tired and... I need to sleep. I am in a kind of research center. There is no one here. A red light. Incessant alarm sounds. I follow a long white corridor... A door opens, and I go through it. There is an enormous room full of machinery and strange incubators full of liquid. I cannot see what is inside, so I move closer. What the hell? There is someone intubated inside. It is the same scene in the other incubators, too. The being inside the first incubator opens its eyes wide and stares at me. It emits a terrifying sound. All the incubators are about to break. I wake up suddenly and sit up in bed to catch my breath. Not the first time I had this kind of nightmare, but this one seemed more vivid. This time it felt almost real. Good thing I did not wake anyone. I go to freshen up and go back to bed. It's still too early to get up, but I can't get back to sleep. I think I'll keep reading the diary. <laughs>